Hello and welcome to another episode of Broadway Light with me, Priscilla Moore. It's October, and we know that October is um, purposely or mostly dedicated for breast cancer awareness, and it's a month of breast. In fact, it's a breast month, if you don't know. <laughs> hmm. So today on Broadway Light, we are going to talk about breast cancer. I know that people have heard of it. Maybe you might know somebody who died of breast cancer and we don't want it to repeat again. So today on Broadway Light, we dedicated a show to talk about breast cancer and how best we can all live long and avoid it if possible. So today with me in the studio is Dr. Benjamin Ba Enin from Gilbert Herbal Center. And he's going to lead us talk about breast cancer. And do you know that with the statistics, is 2,900 indicated cases that occurs annually and one eighth of them die from it all the time. The disease has become one of the most common cancer related diseases death among Ghanaian women. So when we are talking about breast cancer it is important that we all pay attention and get something from it. It's a deadly disease. You're welcome, Doc. Thank you very much, Prismo. How are you doing? By grace, I'm doing wonderfully well. Yourself? I'm doing fantastic. We thank God. Yeah. You're looking amazing. Oh, same to you. Thank you so I much. I like your outfit. Thank you. But we're going on a date after the show because just definitely really, you can't come on the show without going on a date. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you are well. Yes, please. Okay, yeah. Doc, we are talking about breast cancer today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is breast cancer? Okay, so. um. When we say breast cancer, it's it's actually two words: okay. breast, then cancer. Okay. So in simple terms, you see that it's a cancer in the breast. Okay. So we have to know what cancers are. Cancers are abnormal replication of the cells. Okay. So it can happen everywhere in the body, and when it happens in the breast, then we say that it is breast cancer, okay. and the, the breast is a mammary gland. Mm. Okay that has so many cells and tissues in there. Now, from our basic sciences, we know that every living organism, the basic unit of life is the cell. cell. Mm -hmm. Groups of cells make tissue, tissue first, yeah. before organ, mm -hmm. then organ, organ system, then the living organism. Mm -hmm. So when these cells, and as these cells grow, they replicate, some die off, new ones come. Now, when that mechanism becomes defaulted, then you see that these cells are growing abnormally. Okay. And when that happens, we say it it's, has become cancerous. Okay. So, when that thing happens in any of the cells in the breast, mm -hmm. then we can say that breast cancer mm -hmm. has occurred. Okay. Yeah. That's that. I see. You know, so we 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 we, we are coming to talk about breast cancer and because sure. of that. We went out to get the interesting views of people mm -hmm. on what breast cancer is and sure. how they come about. Let's listen to what they have to say. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. So, so now we say, my dear woman, I say, and I was and it's you and my, I was so cool to be massage or no Yeah, was so, 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 from the little I know, they get very tired of the day and some of the foods that we take in as well, alcohol or sickness, breast cancer. Okay. There are a lot of other factors. I, ha I know that like if you have breast cancer and then you don't treat it on time, it will spread and then it will affect your breast and then you have to cut it off. Oh, okay. 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 But you don't know what exactly causes the breast cancer? No, I don't know. Okay, so interestingly, Doc. It looks like most of the females they don't know how breast cancer comes about. Is it that it doesn't have a cause, or there's something we should know? 
Okay, so um, with cancers, of which we are talking about breast cancer, we don't actually know the exact cause of it. Okay. Yes, there is no one way cause of it. Let's say if it was an infectious disease like malaria, you know that the female Anopheles mosquito carries the plasmodium mm -hmm. and the parasites. When they bite you, it can get malaria. Mm -hmm. But then with cases like cancers, we don't know the actual cause. But then there are so many things that may predispose one to have it. Mm. It will make you prune or you have a risk of you having the breast cancer. I see. Yes, and some of these um, parameters or these factors include um, improper diet. I see. When you don't eat well, when you're obese, you don't exercise and you gain more weight. When you are alcoholic, you drink more alcohol um, and when you smoke. When, we, when you smoke and let me chip in this that um, many people think it's just about women having cancers but men having breast cancer is also on the rise and and uh, what yes yes it's also on the rise but then the percentage as compared to that of females mm -hmm. is very low okay so breast cancer can happen to both the male and the female but then being a woman puts you at more risk to have breast cancer as compared to a man so smoking also also predisposes people to have breast cancer and people who mostly start their menstruation on time mm. at early stages yes and those who also enter into menopause at late stages how is the fault of the how is how is that their fault yes i hope you get it so a uh, for the course we don't actually know the specific one mm. and people even contraceptives mm. yes yes people take contraceptives predisposes them to have um, um, breast cancer yes mm. ah yes and even postmenopausal um hormone therapy you see these female sex hormones estrogen and progesterone they, they 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 contribute to the sexual characteristics of women okay yes so developing big breasts developing the bat mm -hmm. it all happens to do with the function of these hormones mm. now when you get to menopausal stages they are reduced Mm -hmm. And when they are reduced, that's when you see, um, um, that's when your menses ceases. Mm -hmm. And so you become menopausal. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens is that because of the signs and symptoms like hot flashes, weak bones, and what have you, um, we sometimes give these women hormones, I as see. in like external estrogen, as in, in drugs. Mm -hmm. We give it to them and they take it. And such women, when they keep on taking these hormones, they they are at risk to have breast cancer wow yes even radiations radiations mm. when you're exposed to radiations you can you can you can have breast cancer so the risk factors are plenty there are many and then but then <laughs> it's so surprising to also know that people can get exposed to all these risk factors and they won't have breast cancer is it that they are doing something right we can't tell <laughs> <laughs> you know when you were talking you mentioned of the fact that male and female they mm. can all get breast cancer yes please and we heard people say earlier mm -hmm. in the videos that um breast cancer idea in saving cry you try some some get their breast cut and cut all off, yeah. so how will you go and cut a man's breast okay so this this um um tells us that there are stages oh, okay there are stages of of the cancer mm. and not every cancer first develops a tumor we have cancers that won't form a lump or tumors before mm. we can operate or take them out or before they can become cancerous yes but before we come to the, the stages mm -hmm. how will one be able to detect that i have breast cancer so the the there are so many signs and symptoms of the breast cancer okay when you have it and mostly you see that the size of the breast will change. There'll be a change in the size of the breast. Um, Doc, mm -hmm. what, to the best of our knowledge, we, we know mm -hmm. that normally, yes. the normal female breast should be one is bigger than the other or it's abnormal. Oh, sometimes mm -hmm. it's normal. In the, sometimes they are normal. Mm -hmm. Looking at the hormonal imbalances and whatever. Okay. But then when it becomes cancerous, mm -hmm. You see, the person has, has known the breast for some time. Mm -hmm. So when there is a slight change, you will know. 
But what should, how so, should a normal breast be? It's it's independent of the individual. Some have big breasts, some have small breasts. Okay. Some to one of the breasts is smaller than the other, but not too much. Okay. Okay. But not too much. Okay. Yes, there are some slight differences in the sizes and the shapes. Okay. But then when it becomes cancer, cancer sorry, it becomes more visible. Okay. I hope you get okay. it. And, and the person will know the change mm. that has transpired in the breast. Mm. Yeah. So aside the change in the size, um, you may have pulled the range. You have a term we call pulled the range. What is that? Pulled the range is like the skin of the breast will be like that of an orange whereby you see the pittings as if there is the holes have been perforated around the breast wow yes yes yes, yes. so put the ranch so you see that the breast will change that way and sometimes you may have blood being discharged from the nipples yes sometimes too the skin of the breast will be scaly yes it will be scaly and it will be peeling off other times too you may see a sore around the breast even in the areola or the nipples or around the breast as a whole sometimes to the breast will become reddish yes it can be both of the breast or even one so one be, if it's one you see that the color has changed mm. one has become reddish than the other normal mm. yes so sometimes you may have rashes all around the breast and you can also mostly mostly people do feel lumps in the breast mm. you feel a lump as, as if a, a stone or a hard um, structure is in your breast. But normally we have lambs in our breasts as women, right? No, lambs are not supposed to be. Ah, but those those, <laughs> and then those, lambs. Are, those are not lambs. And your friends saying those are mostly the ones that you touch. Mm -hmm. They are they are um they can be adipose tissues okay. like the fat fatty tissues Ayo, around the breast lamps. yes please Ayo. and sometimes too <laughs> sometimes you see that when you look at the anatomy of the breast mm -hmm. it has loops mm -hmm. it has loops and these loops have lobes okay it's like groups they are in groups mm -hmm. and and in the lobes there are ducts mm -hmm. the breast milk are, are synthesized in the lobes and they are transferred through the ducts then they come to the nipple mm -hmm. i hope you get it it's like um when when a tangerine okay you see tangerine mm -hmm. when you peel the skin off mm -hmm. and you see that they are in clusters exactly i hope you get mm -hmm. it ah, so that's how the lamps are mm -hmm. they are in clusters okay but then you see when you look at the middle of the tangerine mm -hmm. before you open you it like mm -hmm. you see that there is a small mm -hmm. hole over there exactly. so do, that one can be like the duct okay. so after the clusters have synthesized the milk it will okay. pass Actually, through the, the, yes they, and mm -hmm. there are so many of them so they get connected they, then they then they now meet at the nipple okay that's when the breast milk will come out oh, I see. Uh -huh. so sometimes the one you feel when you press Bre the breast, breast they are they are not supposed to be hard or they are not okay. lambs okay. when a lamp forms you see it how does it is it how, how does sometimes it? it's hard like it's, hard like hard yes like it's it's hard okay yes <laughs> 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 we, we assess the consistency of it we assess the size Sometimes you can check the edges of the lamp even in your mm. breast. Yes, some can be rough, some can be fine. I see. Yeah, so we check. You have to check all those things. So people do also form lamps do form in people's breast, and mm. that one you can tell you that hey, there's something going on in your breast. You know, you were talking about having a reddishness of the breast, mm -hmm. rashes, mm -hmm. and a whole lot. Mm -hmm. You know, we are females, yeah. and then we have um, menstrual cycles, sure. and every month, and what it comes with. Mm -hmm. So, how would we be able to tell the difference? So, mostly we tell women that before you examine yourself, you should make sure that you are not in your menstrual period. Okay. Yes, when you examine yourself in your menstrual period, sometimes the breast even becomes heavier. Very yes mm. when you are menstruating mm -hmm. so we don't advise them to examine it during that period because you might not get things right mm. so after you are done with your menses and you are in your free periods that's when it's okay. advisable for you to examine your breast okay and with that one when there is any change you should you should know as okay. a woman you know um um i i read something i don't know how true is this mm -hmm. if you can confirm for us someone told me that perfumes and this sheer sh spray that you've been using yeah. can also be a cause of cancer, breast cancer. Okay, so such such myths have they don't have any scientific evidence okay. to 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 justify them. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, there are no evidence to justify them. Antiperspirants or like deodorant and mm-hmm. spirits, no. Mm-hmm. You know, there is no scientific evidence to justify them. But as we are seeing, so many things can <laughs> can mm-hmm. trigger cancers. Mm-hmm. Okay, we, let's say if someone is very much used to it, the house maybe it can contribute in a way, mm-hmm. but then it doesn't have any scientific basis. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. So you can use a perfume. You can use it. Let everything be done in moderacy. Great. I hope you get sure. it. Let everything be done in moderacy. But then for that particular one, there is no scientific evidence you were talking about food as well mm-hmm. uh, are there specific foods that we are not supposed to eat mostly um um not specific foods per mm-hmm. se mm-hmm. Um, but we, when we say dieting we are talking about you eating um improper improper way of eating mm-hmm. there are people who just eat anyhow mm-hmm. eating junk foods mm-hmm. eating um um, um uh, unhealthy foods mm-hmm. yes all those things can 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 contribute so it's not like maybe a specific food that when you eat you are going to get um, um you are going to be prone to have the breast cancer no but how you eat you don't exercise you don't do you don't take the greens mm-hmm. you see so there are people who are only into fries junk foods mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. junk foods and some spicy foods some spices and there are there are so many researches that people are doing um as to how the chemical spices mm. the, the 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 their contribution to our general well-being mm. people are doing researches and the the feedback it's it's it shows that all these things are not good yeah so there are the 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 there are so many mm. foods and eating habits that when we are not careful about it predisposes us. okay so can you now work can you work us through the stages okay. how a stage one like how many stages are they the stages actually from the um american joint committee on mm-hmm. cancer mm-hmm. the they have been doing the staging mm-hmm. they have three parameters mm-hmm. okay before the staging mm-hmm. the three parameters are tumor Mm-hmm. the nodes mm-hmm. then metastasis it's a it's a it's like a parameter they used to do their staging mm-hmm. but the staging in itself it's one two three and four okay four stages and in every stage they address whether there is a tumor involved in the cancer whether the cancer has spread to the lymph nodes the lymph nodes are they are around the breast Okay. Some are in the breast, some are in the armpit, some are in the collarbone, mm. around the collarbone and the clavicle. You see, what, what the lymph nodes do is that when there is um, any infection or when fluid accumulates around the tissue, they can mop it up. Then they, they later on bring it back into the blood. That's mm-hmm. a function of the lymph and the lymph nodes. So when any part of the breast becomes cancerous, these lymph nodes are able to pick some of the cancer cells. So for us to know the staging or for the committee, they also involve the fact that it's a particular node around the, a particular lymph, lymph node around the breast having the cancer cells. Then they now look at metastasis as in, is the breast cancer spreading to other parts of the body mm. or even other parts of the breast. So before we even come to the staging, let's look at the types. Okay. Let's look at the types. There are so many different classification or types of breast cancer but the common one that mostly men do sorry women do have is the ductal carcinoma ductal carcinoma that is cancers forming in the milk duct the mammary duct okay. the duct that transports the milk okay. when cancers form over there we call it ductal carcinoma mm. and even with ductal carcinoma we have ductal carcinoma in situ Ductal carcinoma institute means that the, the, the cancer is just at one portion of the duct. Mm. And invasive ductal carcinoma, it's when now the, the, the cancers are spreading from that particular side to other breast, to the other parts of the breast. Mm. So we have the ductal carcinoma, we have the lobular carcinoma. The lobular carcinoma is when the cancer is now in the lobos. Mm. And even with the lobular, we have invasive lobular carcinoma, meaning it's now invading other parts of the breast cells. So let's let, let me now run through mm-hmm. the stages so that our viewers don't mm-hmm. get confused. <laughs> so we have stage one. Mm-hmm. So we have stage zero. 
Okay. We are actually five. Actually five. Mm-hmm. We have stage zero, stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. They are five. Mm-hmm. But then okay. it starts so from, from zero. zero. Okay. Yes. So with zero, mostly people we, we, we don't see any tumor. Sometimes mm-hmm. you don't see any tumor. Mm-hmm. And the the cancer cells will not be found in their lymph nodes mm-hmm. and probably they don't meta- metastasize as they don't mm-hmm. go to other parts of the breast. That's the stage zero. Mm-hmm. And the stage one, sometimes mm-hmm. there may be a formation of a tumor, but the tumor will not be above two centimeters. Mm. It's mostly below to the size of it is mostly below two centimeters. Mm. Yes, and it doesn't spread to other parts of the body. You might not have it in the lymph nodes. Mm-hmm. There are subclasses as in stage one A, B, C, but then I won't go there mm-hmm. for the sake of um, of time mm-hmm. and for our viewers to capture everything. Mm-hmm. Then now the stage two with the stage two cancer and um, cancers, mostly sometimes they may have tumor or they may not have tumor. Mm-hmm. When there is a tumor is supposed to be the size is between five centimeters sorry two centimeters to five centimeters mm. i hope you get it and sometimes there may be minute cancer cells in the lymph nodes there might see. be minute very minute mm. uh-huh. so that's with the stage two now with the stage three the cancer cells when there is a tumor it is above five centimeters or 50 millimeters mm. and they spread to the lymph nodes sometimes between one to three of the lymph nodes. Mm. Yes, that's with the state three. Mm-hmm. There are subclasses even with the state three, mm. whereby the cancer cells are now spread from to about four to nine mm. of the lymph nodes. But then mostly with state, um, state three, they don't metastasize. Mm. They don't metastasize, like they don't spread to other parts of the breasts or even, um, sorry, they don't spread to other parts of the human body. They don't spread to other parts of the normal. And with the stage four, mostly the tumors are about 50 centimeters mm. and they spread to about 10 and more lymph nodes and they spread to other parts of the body, like the lungs, the liver, the brain, wow. the chest wall. Yes. And it's mostly during these stages that the cells are metastasizing. That's when, and mostly in such stages, mm-hmm. we don't, sometimes they don't do surgeries. When it comes to the treatment, they it may be hardly for them to do a surgery because it may complicate things. So what do they do? So they just they just put you on medications. They give you life support. Hmm. If you are feeling pain, they'll give you pain meds. Sometimes they'll put you on palliative care. That's like just something like a death sentence. But then they can't kill you. They just encourage you, they talk to you, you see, they psych you up. Because medicine goes above just medication. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the psyche, family members and people being around talking to you, it's all therapy. So sometimes they leave you to that. But then when it comes to the treatment as well, considering some of the stages, that when you meet your healthcare personnel, it may, it may combine some of the treatments, like let's say chemotherapy, then after that they do a surgery. Mm. So the treatment is dependent on the stages of these cancers. To which of the stages will require that it, it will be cut? So when when mostly mostly with um, stage three or about the subclasses in stage two, yes, mm. when when the, the 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 cancer or the tumor is kind of big, okay, sometimes they do combinations instead of cutting. They won't cut first. They may do chemotherapy in order to kill some of the cancer cells before they now cut. Mm-hmm. mastectomy cutting of the breast is mastectomy okay. before they now cut yeah, sometimes they may do hormonal therapy they will they will they will, they will give you medications to suppress the hormones mm-hmm. sometimes these cancer cells they have receptors estrogen receptor progesterone receptor and human epithelial growth factor receptor too these are receptors that mostly contribute to breast cancer mm-hmm. so when it comes to hormonal therapy they may give you medicines to suppress Mm. the growth of these cancer cells they may even do radio radiotherapy whereby they project some rays mm. yes to kill the cancer cells before they now cut i see yes, so so that's what so if it is cancerous and it is spreading and it doesn't spread to other parts of the human body as in the, the stage four they may tend to kill the can the cells spreading at to other parts of the breast tissue itself wow. before now they cut 
That's why we are professing that people should go for early screening, early examination. Mm. Because mostly in stage one and stage two, when we detect a lamp on time, they can just cut, bring out the lamp and everything will be normal. You'll be fine. You see, so the early detection, now the death rate is actually um, being promising. I mean, it's reducing mm. because people are now being conscientized on the fact that you have to examine your breast on time. So when it's examined on time, we can we can keep the situation at its initial stages. Okay. Uh -huh. So dog, um someone said, you know, let's go and watch this one. <laughs> Is it true mm -hmm. that men has to suck your breast <laughs> to, to, to prevent you from getting breast cancer? Like this one is saying. No, 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 no. no. Hey, so they're just catching feelings. <laughs> you see, um, it's it's i don't know how to put it but it's unfortunate that when mostly when it comes to breast cancer awareness aware, sorry awareness month mm -hmm. october people tend to say this thing a lot that men have to suck the breast in order to prevent people their yeah, remain from having breast cancer please it's not true there is no scientific evidence to justify that but then what we there are two things here okay the first one is that we 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 tell the men to help in the assessment of the breast because you are married to your wife you're exposed to your wife's breast okay every now and then when you are in bed you get access to it so what we mostly tell them is that they should help in the early detection and how how would the assessment be so as they fondle on bed as they do the touches and stuff you see now, not necessarily they don't that, how would they know? oh no 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 <laughs> <laughs> Some, you see the thing is that when it comes to that one when it comes to that particular one mostly they play with the nipples because more nerves are there okay. there, are, there are a bunch of nerves at the nipples mm -hmm. and so they it's just for sexual pleasure okay okay but then as they touch the breast itself they massage it and mm -hmm. they press it when there is a slightest change they may detect it very okay. well then they will prompt their spouses to go and get themselves checked up. And the second thing is that I believe that most healthcare personnel, mm. personnel, sorry, and other people are not getting certain things right. Okay. Breastfeeding, to my little research, mm -hmm. breastfeeding is different from breast sucking. Okay. Breast, there are, there are, there are scientific researches to justify the fact that breastfeeding mm -hmm reduces the risk of having breast cancer breastfeeding okay but then there is no scientific evidence to justify that breast, breast sucking, sucking. <laughs> <laughs> actually reduces the risk of breast cancer so let's look at these two things okay sucking of breast is part of breastfeeding mm -hmm. but then there is more to breastfeeding than mm -hmm. just breast sucking okay with breastfeeding the, okay, the research was done using um, nursing mothers. Okay, okay, okay. The ne uh -huh. You see, the, the, the research was done using nursing mothers who breastfed for about um, a year mm -hmm. and even some two years, according to some researches that other, other people did, mm -hmm. some two years. And so you see that with breastfeeding, the baby is solely, is almost always on the breast, mm -hmm. sucking the breast sucking the milk out of the breast mm. morning afternoon evening and the father will come and continue <laughs> <laughs> no 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 you see so so during those times it's the baby feeding on it mm. so for a year or six months morning afternoon evening the baby is on the breast okay sucking mm. bringing out the milk but a man <laughs> you go to work you can't be on the breast 24 7 like that I mean, there are like some, a baby there are some people like that continuously six months <laughs> one year two years come on you see <laughs> it's not okay. feasible it's mm -hmm. not feasible mm -hmm. 
So the consistency also counts. I believe one of the things that had to justify the fact that breastfeeding reduces the risk is the consistency. Okay. The consistency. The baby is always on the breast morning, afternoon, evening, even mm-hmm. at dawn. Mm-hmm. But the man, you only want to suck the breast maybe the, only the times that you guys are having yeah. sex or mm-hmm. sexual pleasure. And that one will be more hurting. To me, I believe it will be more hurting. Really? Uh, yes. Why? It will be because man with big teeth. <laughs> <laughs> And some even go to the extent of biting the nipple. It's it's it's, it's absurd. Yeah, it's it's absurd. So <laughs> it, please, men men shouldn't do that. Breast sucking, there is no scientific evidence to justify that you have to suck the breast. No. But you can assess the breast, press it so that you help in any early change in okay. the breast. Then we take it from there. Let's, let's 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 <laughs> leave let's leave the sucking and the feeding to the babies. Okay. Like let them do that work. Okay. Please, men, okay. let the babies do that work. Someone told me that someone told me that when 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 he gets married, you'll be using the 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 wife's breast milk for tea. Ah. Yes, it's 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 <laughs> that's big sense. Ah, you see even that one. <laughs> <laughs> you see so. Please, man. I we beg see. You. Interesting. Yes. Please, you are begging. <laughs> After you don't want to buy milk because the economy is hard. You want to use somebody's breast breast milk to you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. Oh, it's, I it's, see. It's, 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 it's been an amazing conversation. Yeah. So uh, wrapping up, wrapping mm-hmm. up to the early solution. What what is the solution to all this? So the solution to this, we will say, is early detection. Mm. Early detection, regular checkups, mm. eating well, exercising more to reduce weight. Mm. Yes, um, avoiding alcohol, the intake of alcohol, or even taking minimal if there is the need. To me, I don't take alcohol, and mm. I believe other people to pay their religious beliefs they won't take alcohol. Mm-hmm. But even if you are an alcoholic or someone who drinks alcohol, mm-hmm. please let it be minimal. You stop smoking. And our women who are mostly taking um, medications to have big breasts and big backs, mm-hmm. please, you put yourself at higher risk mm-hmm. to have breast cancer. So we have to avoid all those things. And as I've been saying, sex pollution. People are taking contraception. Excuse me, say what? Sex pollution. I call something sex pollution because okay. it's like almost everywhere sex is sex is sex. Mm-hmm. Even when people are doing adverts on toothpaste it has to have a sense or a touch of something sexy even ear, ear, earphones i saw one one package of a earphone and a lady was dressed new, nudely i mean it was i was like come on ear, earphone and nudity where's the relation there's no correlation yes yeah, so everywhere is i mean people are project even in movies mm. and adverts what have you social media handles everywhere so i call it sex pollution and that's have had impact on the minds of people. Mm. So people are always having sex. But the unfortunate thing is that they don't want to get pregnant or take mm-hmm. responsibilities. Mm-hmm. So they end up going for the contraceptives. Mm-hmm. And the contraceptives to some, we are supposed to take it about one or two in a year. But mm-hmm. people can take it as regular as the number of times they have sex in a week. That is too bad. That is very bad. And it is causing more harm than good. Mm-hmm. So they also have to, have to um, I mean, be conscious about that thing and advise themselves mm. so the solution is some of these things okay you prevent them then you go for early checkup mm. are you having a- any screening at your end um, oh yes, yes 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 we are having we are having free breast screening okay at our place gilbert memorial herbal center okay not kanishi ogi road mm. yes near sakura junction when you come there we will assess you freely mm. We assess the we have experts. Okay. I told I told someone that we'll be doing the screen. He said that are you going to be the <laughs> <laughs> I was I was like, Oh, we have women around. Okay. And they are going to help you. But pay your own uh, discretion if you want me to do it for you. Fine, I can do it for you. <laughs> it's my work. I, I I sometimes do it for people. So oh, I see. Yes. Yeah, so when you come there, it's the exercise is ongoing. It started yesterday. Mm. Today we are doing it. Wednesday we will do it. Thursday, then on Saturday, God willing, mm. yes, we will do it. So from now to Saturday, the only day we are going to have it is going to be on a Friday. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so anyone can trip in so that we, we examine the person, mm-hmm. then we know what's, what's going on. Yeah. I see. I think I'll get mine checked right after the show. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> no problem. No problem at all. <laughs> Oh, no it's, 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 at, uh, it's an amazing conversation we've had and uh, a lot of um, knowledge to be taken home. Wow, we thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for being a part of Ronde Light today. Thank you too for being light. Thank you for enlightening us. Yes, please. Enlightening us. It's and, a pleasure. Wow, it's it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so this is where we draw to the curtain on Ronde Light. It's Breast Cancer Month. Please go and get your breast checked. And please, like he said, and no phone and bear man in You have to examine. Press and examine. Don't go and suck the breast. Look at it. Lift. Wait. Okay, so this show is proudly sponsored by Endpoint Homeopathy Clinic. If you are suffering from stroke, diabetes, infertility, um, and any chronic disease at all, kindly find your way there. You can locate them here in Accra, Pink Text. Tema Kumasi Tetiman and Takrade. You can also call the doctor himself, Dr. Edu Barton, on 0244-867-068. 0244-867-068. Don't forget to follow us on our social media handles, CMJTV on Facebook, CMJTV on YouTube, CMJTV on Twitter, and CMJTV TikTok and Instagram. Our website is www.cmonline.com.gh, your authentic online news portal. CM Online Radio is your authentic online radio. It's on Zeno and Modern Ghana. Tune in and listen to all the soothing music you can ever imagine. My name is Chris Moore, and to another episode of Red Light with me, stay out of trouble. Go, breath, go and get your breast checked, because I'm going to get my checked. Bye. <laughs>